From the murky waters of the sportsman's paradise, stories emerge. Stories of the generations of people who have shared in the bounties of the land. Stories of communities that have persevered through natural disasters. Stories of the abundance of fish, wildlife, and adventures that create an ecosystem rich in diversity. And from the silted banks of the mighty Mississippi to the soggy marsh bottoms, from the tops of towering pine forests to the depths of the salty gulf, human and animal have shared this fortune for centuries. Enjoy these stories as told by outdoor journalists who travel across our state documenting the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. Welcome to Bayou Wild. We're here at Morton Seafood Restaurant in Madisonville. I'm Martha Spencer along with Don Dubuque. Great show coming up for us today. It certainly will be. We're going to be kayaking again with Captain Eric Mohabarak. Tell us a little bit about it. We're going to go kayak fishing in our Hobies and learn how to sight reds from the kayak and kind of how to sneak up on these fish quietly. Oh, he's so pretty. Look at that fish. It's oh, a pretty fish. Well, it's hunting season. Alligator this week, dove hunting at the end of the week, but we went hunting down with our friend the crappie psychic. A little bit different style of hunting. We go out for the granavole. If you don't know what that is, it's dangerous. Be the careful. slang name is the Cajun peanut, and you'll learn all about what they are, what you can do with them, and kind of their history as well. And what the real name is, is a lotus plant. Uh, these plants are harvested a lot in China, really big. They actually farm them. But I've been eating these things, and I come, my Cajun heritage, I've been eating them all my life. Coming up, we head out into the marshes in Empire, where we're catching redfish, hey, and some summer trout, too. Closed captioning made possible by CETO.com. Become a member. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana fish fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana fish fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Want to be part of the Bayou Wild film crew? Sign up for our Cajun Invasion while pheasant hunt in the remote hills of South Dakota December 3rd through 7th. Bad River Bucks and Birds provides lodging, meals, transportation, dogs, and bird cleaning. Details at DonTheOutdoorsGuide.com. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Find out if alternative treatment is the answer to your pet's health issues. Contact Dr. G at VetNaturally.com. If you've never met Captain Eric Mahabrik, well, he's quite a character and he's a great fisherman. He's also part of the Hobie Pro Staff team along with myself. So we get in the Hobie kayaks and kind of show you, if you're new to kayaking, how to get into the marsh, how to maneuver, and you really have to sneak up on the redfish out there. We go sighting redfish with the gold spoon down in Empire, Louisiana. Nice red, nice red. All right, isn't this great? South Louisiana at its finest, baby. Yeah. He's a 
good one there. I bet you it's about 18 pounds. Alright. Nah, it's a redfish. <laughs> Look how pretty he is. Oh, he's probably about seven. Yeah. All right. That's a pretty little red. Look at the spots on him. You'll forget you got stung by a catfish when you catch a beautiful redfish with a lot of freckles on it. We were fishing over in the grass, and I cast it into the grass by accident and then pulled my Berkeley gulp back into the bottom, and he ate it off the bottom. Uh, we're kind of a little bit protected here, so I think they like to swim around in the grass, and uh, it's a really pretty fish. It's almost got as many freckles as I do. So these large birds that somewhat resemble birds of prey that are sitting on these oyster poles, there's a ton of them over here. They're actually called frigates. And the reason they're on the poles and not floating in the water like you might see a seagull is they don't have enough natural oil on their, on their feathers to actually be able to take off from the water. They essentially would die. So they're all posted up on these oyster poles here, but they're really tremendous birds because they can fly for weeks at a time. And you'll see them offshore a lot. They'll never actually land in the water, but if you throw a piece of bait out, you'll see them swoop down and get it. They're also the logo for the Invincible Boat. They've got really cool aerodynamic tails and about a three-foot wingspan. I think they're one of the coolest birds I've seen in Louisiana. <laughs> Look how red he is. Oh, he's so pretty. Look at that fish. Where's Eric with his net? I got it. Oh, he's barely hooked. It hasn't exactly been a banner day out here in the marsh. We've been casting a lot. We switched up our baits from Berkeley Gulf to the everlasting gold spoon, which the redfish really can't seem to give up. And uh, I saw this one tailing, threw it right to it, and sure enough, he ate. <laughs> it's not always easy catching redfish in the marsh, but you can log the details on where you catch your beautiful redfish with 20 Echo. Get all the details on the secret spot. You know, today they seem to be biting on some gulp, some Johnson Gold Spoons. Uh, a lot of them are being sight casted. Uh, we did catch a trout here and there. Um, overall, it's a good day. The tide actually just started falling, so things should change up real good. And uh, you can't ask for better than that. It's gonna make some good fillets. We're gonna eat him up. I find sight fishing more satisfying when I catch a fish because I think it's harder. Well, I personally think it's easier. You have to be a really good, accurate cast, but I think putting a well, dead shrimp on a cork is easier. That, you, you are correct on that. I will give you that. When they're piled up against the bank on a windblown bank or something like that. But they got boats that are hundreds of thousands of dollars with all of these big giant towers and stuff yeah. that you can just go pick out your fish when you want. We don't have and towers it, in here. No, we don't have towers in here, so it's a little bit different. We're more, more personal to Yeah, them. and you can sneak yeah. up on them with these, yeah. too. You can get wet in big boats. That fish, get. that fish, we saw him, we pitched it to him, and he ate it, and it was pretty cool. Yeah. Now kiss him before we put him in the ice bag. There you go. <laughs> You're supposed to do that when you let him go. Coming up next, the Geisha Girl, Martha Spencer, and I tell you what happens when the American Lotus 
meets the Cajun Crappie Psychic. Well, they're very easy to see. The flowers give it away. Um, but you're looking for the big pads before it starts flowering. And you want fresh, fresh water. Uh, normally in the marsh, they grow extremely well. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get delivery seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Gaspagu, Sakale, Shupik, a lot of funny names for species in Louisiana. Here's another one, Granivole. That's what we're after today. Granivole is a French word that means seed to fly. And what the real name is, is a lotus plant. Uh, these plants are harvested a lot in China, really big. They actually farm them. But I've been eating these things and I come, my Cajun heritage, I've been eating them all my life. That's a pretty one. Uh, most people, uh, it's almost a celebration when the granivoles are ready to pick. A lot of people go out, pick them. Some people pick sacks full and they sell them uh, to other people who can no longer get out, the, the elderly, and you know they can't get out and pick them anymore, or people who just don't have the means to come out here and pick them. See how pretty that is? That is a perfect granivole right there. That's what you want. Now I'm gonna get one that's a little, so we got one, Let's see what we got so far. We got one too young. We got a perfect one. We got one that's ready to seed and drop. We want to get one a little more ripe than this. Remember how I told you how to get a little bitter because the uh, green, the little plant in it gets too green? Now, it's not just enough to find the granivole. You got to be able to read the ones that are right. This is too young to eat right here. This one's too old. These seeds are ready to germinate. These are the two that you can eat. This one's going to be a little bit harder and a little bit bitter, but this is the one you want. It's perfect. Well, the first stage is when it's real, real young. The pot is just starting to develop, and you're going you're gonna to see just the tip of the seed. These are not good to eat yet. It's just starting to develop. The seeds are probably empty. Then your next stage, they're just starting to develop enough to where the plant inside the seed is not dark green. There's not a lot of bitterness in there, and they're really good to eat out here. So then the next stage is when they're getting a lot more ripe, you'll see the colors of the seed start to change. You'll see more of the seed as the seed gets bigger. And then the final stage is when it dries. Of course, the seed pods open up. A lot of them has fell out of here already. And it's hanging this way so the seeds seed to fly. 
that's how they you know grow more uh, plants it's like squeezing the tail out of a crawfish get the meat Almost. out well probably two weeks into June you can start finding them but I, I use July 4th as my peak. Uh, I normally don't even start till July because there's a lot more of them. And uh, it'll go into a couple of weeks into August. But I've had friends of mine actually found a few good ones during teal season. Most of them have dropped by then, but you still can find one or two here and there. Most of your Asian markets will have them and they'll have them already peeled some of them dried, uh, some of them roasted, so you can go buy them and you just look for a local Asian market and they should have them. But they won't be called granavoles, they'll be called lotus, lotus seeds, dried lotus seeds. And uh, most people like to boil them, put them in a seafood boil, just like you would boil shrimp, crabs, crawfish, anything like that. And the seeds will pop open while they're boiling and absorb the flavor. Now that's the way a lot of people like them. But there's many, many different ways to cook them, prepare them. Personally, I like them raw when we're out here picking them. I love eating three or four pods full raw, which my son and my daughter, they also like them like that. But my favorite is pickle. You peel them and you pickle them, and it's seasoned pickle juice, and I like them on salads, and your white beans is really, really good. Coming up next, we take some grande vole back to the kitchen and show you some mouth-watering recipes. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. So earlier in the show, you saw us harvesting the granavoles out in the pond. We're here in Raceland, of course, with Janelle Fulce. She's going to show us some different ways that you can actually cook not only the seed, but the stalk of the plant also. You can eat almost the entire lotus pod plant. Right. Um, I'm not going to discredit just boiling them, because if you go on the bayous, I mean, those boys down there, they can boil you some granola seeds like you would not believe. They're delicious, so I'm not even going to compete with that. Okay. But I will show you how to do some different, unique things with them today. Like for one thing, we look harvested at this. the stock. Look at this. It doesn't look too appetizing. It looks does like it? rhubarb. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look too appetizing, but this thing is really easy to clean. Just use a potato peeler, get the peeling off, wash it really good, cut it up. After you cut it up, it sort of looks like this. Like French fries. Just, and that's what we're making today. French fries. All we're gonna do is we're gonna batter them up. We're gonna go dry, wet, dry. And the reason we do dry, wet, dry is just because you want that exterior dry to really cling onto the egg. What are we using here for the batter? And All the you're using here for the batter is my favorite fish fry, which is Louisiana fish fry, fish fry. Now I do have it cut a little bit for this particular recipe because I have it cut with just plain all-purpose flour mm -hmm. because I want a little bit of a smoother texture to the batter. Not and, so but I want that amazing flavor of the Louisiana fish fry. So what so, would you compare this to when people bite into it? Because when, you said there were some interesting things right. about it. When you bite into this right away, the first thing you see is, you know, it's kind of stringy. It mm -hmm. almost has like a little hair textures. It reminds me of when you peel a stalk of celery. Yes. Okay, um, but the flavor, uh, water chestnuts. It has that crunch. It like has a that crunch of a chestnut. It almost has like a little nutty flavor. And do some research on them. I've done research on them. There's so much 
to learn about this is a lot of health benefits, a lot of medicinal benefits to them. Um, they're delicious. And we have the stems of the plant here for an appetizer. They just finished battering them up. I'm gonna go ahead and fry them up. I like to get my oil at about 320 degrees and they only take a couple of minutes so it doesn't take long to uh, fry them up at all. So I'll get them in there now. Here's the finished product. That's the finished product right here. Um, if you want to go ahead and try one of those, they are absolutely delicious. If you see the stuff sitting in the center right there, that's actually a relish, Martha, that is made with the lotus pod seed. Who knew that these flowers were so diverse? <laughs> they really, really are. So you've tasted the relish, you've tasted the, um, the fried stems. What do you think? I wouldn't miss french fries if I had these. I bet. Really? Yeah. So we've got our appetizer. Now we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to show you some encrusted sacole with the granabole. Absolutely. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. If you hunt or fish, you really need to check out 20echo.com. It's an app that you can take on the water or on the hunt. It logs all the information. It's got the date, the GPS location, tons of information to log your catch or kill. It's a great thing to have. Check it out at 20echo.com and you'll see it more on Bayou Wild TV. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. So we've had our granavole sticks. Yes. and our relish. And now we're going to have the main dish, which is some sacole. Tell us what you did with the granavole seed here. Okay, what I did with the seed here, Martha, is once the hard part was done, which was after it was peeling, harvested yeah. and peeling and all the bitter green was taken out, I roasted the seed with a Creole seasoning, which is a very simple process. You literally just shake it in a bag with a little bit of vegetable oil and whatever Creole seasoning you love. Now you need to roast it for about 10 minutes per side for at 400 degrees and when I say per side pop it in at 400 degrees take it out in 10 minutes get a little spatula flip over the seeds do it again like if you were roasting sunflower or yeah. pumpkin seeds you can go a little bit longer if you want but at that point you need to watch them because after that they will burn quickly so what when we put this in the grease is different about cooking this okay. versus regular I'm fried glad fish. you asked that because if you notice you're doing a double batter you're doing the uh, the fish fry you're doing the egg wash then you're doing the granola seed the granola seed burns quick. So you better have your grease ready to go, know your temperature, and it only takes about uh, less than three minutes. I'd say about two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes and at about 320, about 320 degrees. Perfect. So um, if you notice, some of the seeds in there are not as fine because you want to get it between a fine meal in a course, like right in between, because you crunch. want a little bit of crunch on there. But you, you know, I would honestly tell people like, hey, when you bite into that, don't be alarmed, you might get a crunch. Right. That's the granola seed. And you also said go lightly on the fish fry yes. because you don't want it to overpower. Because if you don't have something fit to stick to, it's gonna come right off in right. the grease. So that is very important that you do that step right there. All right, we're gonna throw them in the grease and come back and eat them. We have an entire meal centered around the granavole. Tell everybody what we've got plated up. Okay, what we have plated up is we have a delicious seafood slaw, which has blackened shrimp. But if you notice on the top, you're going to have some roasted Creole granavole seeds crushed on top. Okay. And right here, you have some granavole seed roasted again um, on your sacole. So you have it uh, crusted there on top. And we had our 
sticks earlier. Yeah. I'm not sure what to call them. Well, you, we call them granivole fries, fries, french fries, whatever you want to call them. And what are we garnishing our fish with? It's All just right. a mild white seafood sauce. And you don't want to overpower it because you want to really get the flavor of that granivole. So you just want a little drizzle on there and of course perfect no meals complete without dessert believe it or not you can make what is this called swamp candy looks like toffee or praline let's give it a try it's it is amazing and the longer you let it set the softer it is you know so eat it quick it's like a combination almost like a, a soft like a, a brittle or a praline that's awesome and it has the uh honey roasted granola seeds in it I never knew you could find so much in a pond. <laughs> Thanks, Janelle. Thank you. It was a pleasure, Martha. Was. This was fun. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy. Just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Coming up next week, we take you to Delacroix Island fishing with an old buddy of mine, Captain Ahab. A lot of fun. <laughs> you know with the name like Captain Ahab, it's got to be a good trip. He doesn't live up to the Ahab reputation, though. There's a fish on it. You want to reel this one in, Don? No, wouldn't dare. I wish oh, I could say the same. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, there wasn't no fish there. What was that? When you turn it off, I'll tell you what kind of fish that was. What's that? What's that? Ahab's got plans for you? Uh -huh. Leave that camera on my fish. Leave it on my fish. Forget that little one Ahab's got. Let's look at that one. Oh, what, what was my assist on that? <laughs> In the water. <laughs> well, then we head back to Alaska. We mentioned we had a lot more to share with you. We're going to go offshore, catch some halibut and some rockfish, and then... We're going to take those halibut back home, and we're going to combine the best Alaska has to offer with some Creole tomatoes here in Louisiana and cook some of my halibut and Creole tomato tacos coming up on next week's Body Walk. And also follow us on Facebook. You can get information from our shows to contests and also on Instagram we do a lot of behind the scenes photos there and you can always catch the episodes if you miss them on Cox Sports TV. You can check them out in full on YouTube. Just search Body Wild TV. And come see us here at Morton Seafood Restaurant on the banks of the Defuncta River. Have lunch and talk a little fishing with us.